than the possible what? How expensive is a MacBook Pro? They were asking for 10k? Bro, what does that shit go for? Yesterday, Tammy went into the hospital. She has pneumonia and she can't breathe. I set up a GoFundMe account. If y'all could donate a penny, nickel, dime, help. Hope is so happy. No. When Amy and Tammy Slayton first began their YouTube journey back in 2014, they were seen by their audience as two wholesome sisters level. who were bravely putting themselves out into the world despite their unconventional appearances. However, only a few short years later, that very same audience had grown to hate and despise them. The Slayton sisters would turn their entire audience against them through controversy after controversy, peaking with one of the most ambitious scandals in YouTube history, a GoFundMe for Tammy Slayton's funeral who had an That is bold. Life. However, that is very bold. Known more about these two sisters prior to the beginning of their channel, each of these controversies could have been easily predicted. For example, back in 2010, Amy would be arrested after shoplifting an $8 book from Walmart, showing that even prior to what? beginning YouTube, the sisters were prone to both cutting corners and cheating the system. Most of this information would only become public at a later date. So when they first began their channel, they were liked. The sisters built an audience through their strong family bond, positive attitude, and ability to laugh at their own shortcomings. We need to lose weight to be pumps, can they? Oh. We don't care if you don't like us, we're fat and we love it. They weren't exactly the sharpest tools in the I've show. never heard People them speak. They, they sound like the Kanker sisters. I say, hey, I'm fat, I'm fat. But don't you call me fat. Why would I want you to call me fat if we're trying to be in a relationship? Come on now, use your brains. And the fact that they were kind of doing YouTube for themselves, it didn't seem like they were trying to impress anyone. Love when a girl isn't afraid to be herself. I applaud you. Thanks for your Finally, gamer a real club. person doing a review. Love it. Keep them coming. I love her so much. She always has such a positive, fun, relaxing vibe. The Slayton sisters would receive their first big break after posting a video titled Chubby Bunny Challenge, which would go on to gain a view count in the millions. However, when examining the video's thumbnail and Aww. dislike ratio, it was pretty obvious that it had gone viral as a result of people watching to laugh at their physical appearance. How does mine? Yeah, see, that's the thing I think is really sad about the whole situation, and especially the TLC show. It's just literally just so people can point and laugh at them. Like, and that enables them to keep killing themselves. I don't know, I just find that whole thing to be sad. That's why I don't ever really watch it or try and learn about it. I just think the whole situation is really morbid. Just sending a quick text. To loot this channel for not disabling comments, that takes bravery. I genuinely didn't know it was possible for the human body to lay adipose tissue on the forehead. Anytime I wake up and think, I don't really feel like working out today, I just think of this video and it gives me the motivation I need. It was a similar story with videos He's like Bake With Me and Trying New Insecure. Makeup. The thumbnails were sufficiently horrid and laughable to make the videos go viral. However, despite the hate, the hundreds of thousands of views across the videos still brought in others who appreciated the relaxed nature of the channel, growing their fan base further. Oh, Milky's so about to cute. win a tournament. Well, no, 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 no. Makeup, is he doing well in salt mine? I was watching a little so bit earlier. Sweet. I would let her put makeup on me any day. All the beauty gurus be like, you gotta do it exactly like this, Kay. And this girl is like, it's your makeup, you choose how to do it. And she did pretty good. I'm He's in winner's grands right now? Hold on, let me pull it up on the other screen real quick. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, he's, up, he's up against Hungry Box and Grands. Where can I watch? It's on Hungry Box's channel. It's his tournament. Moki's through a winner's side. He's up 1-0 right now. Thanks to resub Lacko, Thomas, and the gift sub everybody. I'm going to sell bubbles. However, while a growing fan base would generally be seen as a positive for most YouTube channels, for the Slayton sisters, it would end up becoming a negative, as it'd be at around the same time that they begin to reach out to their audience for help in relation to their lack of financial security. For example, after achieving a thousand subscribers on their channel, the Slayton sisters would set up their first GoFundMe, requesting that their audience help them buy an Apple MacBook with the goal of increasing the quality oh, of their no. videos. Now, most of their audience felt as though there was nothing wrong with this proposal. The audience sends a bit of money through, the sisters get a new laptop, and in return, 
the audience gets a higher average video quality. That's that shit you see sometimes. Like, if everyone that follows me gives me one dollar, just one dollar, we'll be good. YouTubers in comments such as, delete this. You are going to lose all your subscribers. You're a pathetic lowlife that needs to get off your ass and get a damn job like the rest of us instead of mooching off of us. You are disgusting. And if I were you, thank God I am not. I couldn't wake up in the mornings. As a response to the hate, Amy would shift the blame from herself, stating that her friend was the one who suggested that she make the GoFundMe. I do not take money very lightly. The whole MacBook thing was not my idea. It was a friend of mine's idea. I didn't even edit the <laughs> Clara, or anything. Clara, damn it. Is down. However, while Amy did receive a bit of hate, the operation will prove to be successful after oh. raising over eight hundred and thirty-three dollars, showing the Slayton sisters that it was not only possible. What? How expensive is a MacBook Pro? They were asking for ten k. Bro, what does that shit go for? What? Thanks to resub Kato and Sky. My God, that shit better came with like actual hologram technology. Simple to extract money from their audience through GoFundMe, which would become a vital piece of information for the main scandal to be covered in this video. The other problem that the Slayton sisters encountered after growing an audience was that they could now be held accountable for the stories that they shared throughout their videos. For example, Amy would upload a video talking about a situation in which she had adopted a German Shepherd rescue dog before leaving it in a camper van on a hot summer's day. Now, what? Amy would state that the air conditioning was on whilst the dog was inside and that the camper van was, quote, freezing. The camper has AC in it, and we only put him in there for like 30 minutes and who are y'all to judge me however when amy would then reveal that the dog had gone crazy inside and smashed the air conditioning unit just to get out her audience assumed that maybe the ac wasn't on and that the dog was yeah it probably wasn't on it had been overheating inside this theory would be supported further after jesus amy revealed that the dog had bitten her quite severely after escaping from the camper van leading her audience to believe that the dog was all riled up after overheating as a result of the incident amy would state that the dog had been put in a 14-day quarantine the dog is in 14 14 day quarantine. He, ha he has a week to go. However, with the bite mark being so severe and Amy taking the dog to the pound, whilst using the wording that the dog was no longer with her, the audience assumed that Amy had taken the dog to the pound to have it put down, Jesus. resulting in the popular opinion well, that Amy was fuck her. a abuser. I can't Jesus imagine this Christ. a German Shepherd. Shepherds need tons of activity both physically and mentally. She couldn't even take care of herself, let alone I see why a lot of people do not like them. Breed. I'm sorry, but I highly doubt she ran after the German Shepherd. You need to be relatively active to own a dog like well, a German Shepherd. And you need to be lucid trained productions. to be able to take care of an abused large dog. This sentiment will become even worse when, at a later date, well, Tammy will I feel absolutely no sympathy for her. celebration of her birthday at a gaming arcade, mentioning in passing that she felt sorry for their other dog, Little Bit, who had been left in the hot car whilst they were inside playing games. Oh my god. I feel bad for Little Bit because she sat outside in a hot car while we were having fun. But I did, while we were at, uh, getting something to eat, I did get a, a Little Bit some food and some ice water. So I thought about it, at least. Amy said I was going to give her some water. Wow. What a selfish, disgusting bunch of people these three are. Poor, poor What an people. absolute I'm piece of shit. But is still alive. These events did a pretty good job of destroying the Slayton sisters' reputation. However, as you might assume, it was only going to get worse from there on out, as Amy would find herself in yet another controversy after going on a date with a 19-year-old autistic kid at a local McDonald's. Y'all know that I had the worst night ever Friday, and it was a horrible night. It started off good. We met each other. Well, it wasn't the first time we met. Don't think that. I'm not that type of person. As mentioned, in the beginning, the date seemed to have been going well. What to the, the extent fuck? that Amy and her date decided to book a hotel so they could go and get frisky together. Pegasus, at which point, things would start more. to head in a negative direction. And then we went to a hotel room. I finally got up and started loving on him. I was trying to give him a hickey because he was a virgin and he never had a hickey before. So I was giving him a hickey and he oh. was like... Oh. Quit biting me, and I'm like, I'm not biting you. Oh, man. this is this is worse than Amy Schumer talking about her vagina. Oh my god. Oh. Oh wow. Hold on. I I need I need a break. I'm gonna splash like holy water in my fucking face or something. Just give me a second. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ. I'm back. Come here. Big kiddo. You're a good girl. I know. I know. This is a bad lady. This is a bad lady. I know.
Thanks to the Bits Heifer and the resub Rob and Yola. She was like, here you are. So I'm Betty. After biting her date and assumably scaring him off during the intimate moment, he would take to Facebook, posting a status written in an ancient hillbilly dialect, which will receive a response from Amy about the size of his boy. I want to read this. Damn, sounds like it wasn't like trying to give him a hickey. She wasn't trying to like Dracula this man. Good lord. And she did not take kindly to that whatsoever. Penis. Following this, Amy would go on to upload her video discussing the night, where she would completely dox one. the guy in the comments Metatron. section with his Facebook page and telephone number, after which he would be harassed by Amy's YouTube audience. In somewhat of a hilarious act of karma, Amy would then go on to get into another relationship, which would ultimately end in separation after Amy's YouTube audience decided to get involved. Oh, all guys are happy. David just broke up with me. Nice. Everybody was harassing. Now y'all see why I don't tell people who I'm updating. <laughs> because y'all bully and harass me. <laughs> and then he does. And while this would mark the end of Amy and Tammy's reputational base scandals, it would ironically mark the beginning Holy of all the shit. many financial controversies, oh beginning when their audience discovered that the sisters had been receiving government assistance in a video titled Amy's Toxoplasmosis. Amy would explain that as a result of being legally blind, she had been receiving social security payments. I'm not on disability for my weight. I'm on disability you get sub -dealer? because of my eyesight. It would then be revealed later that Tammy was also receiving disability True, payments for her morbid obesity, which would result in backlash from her audience, stating that they were rorting the system by receiving money from both the government and their job as YouTubers. In addition to receiving money from these two sources, they also began to make money from selling merch, before many would claim that this was also a scam. The merch site was suspicious from the very beginning and read as follows. If you purchase Tammy's merch, you'll be added to a private group chat with Tammy. To purchase, oh, to nice. the donate section and donate the appropriate amount, $35 $5 for t-shirts, $50 for hoodies, then head to the contact section and email us with the email you use to make the purchase. The reason that what? the Slayton sisters requested for purchases to donate the appropriate amount became pretty obvious. They're definitely scamming the tax system and sliding money to Tammy oh. so she can set a disability from what scene. Wait, what? A good side what? Bro, that's kind of big brain for Tammy. That's, that's very interesting. That is some. That is not her idea. Someone must have actually like told her about that shit. That's kind of smart, because it doesn't count as income at that point. It just it just be like a donation. Hustle, but this one is super shady. What the hell kind of sketchy beef. ass website is this? I just donate my money and hope to God I get something in return. No tracking or proof of purchase, refunds, no thank you. This feels like a way to scam the IRS somehow. I didn't sell anything. Yeah, exactly. It got worse when fans would come to realize that the sisters hadn't been paying the artists who had completed the designs for the merch. A representative for Tammy would take to Instagram stating, all people who make artwork don't ask to get paid, but to simply get a follow or notice by Tammy. Most of the artwork on the website- Exposure dollars. At blank, our website designer, and at blank again. However, apparently this wasn't the arrangement made with the artists. In an article written about the scam by Showbiz Cheat Sheet, it was mentioned that at least one artist has claimed they requested their art not be used without payment, and have since been blocked, and have had their artwork misattributed to someone else. This artist would take to Instagram in a post reading, I wasn't being unfair at all, just saying how my artwork is being passed off as someone else's when I spent time doing it, and I've now been blocked, yet my design is still up on your website. <laughs> not really fair at all. All I want it was credit for it, that's all. As a result of that's this game, reasonable. Tammy's TikTok with over 1 million followers, on which she had promoted her merch, would be permanently banned. However, this still doesn't make it the most notorious controversy in the Slayton sisters history, bringing us to the infamous mm. scam. This is what we got the cliff notes on earlier. The heavier of the two sisters fell over in the bathroom before waking up the following day without the ability to breathe. I woke up and I couldn't breathe. Like that. Like, I really couldn't breathe. And after being rushed to hospital, it will be discovered that Tammy had contracted 
pneumonia. I went to the hospital in an ambulance, took x-rays, and a couple hours went by, and they told me I had pneumonia, and I was going to have to stay in the hospital. Whilst in the hospital, Tammy's condition would worsen, leading her to pass out for three and a half weeks whilst on life support, during which Amy would begin the GoFundMe. And this now, was all to fake? Credit, it probably was pretty scary having your overweight, unhealthy sister oh, on life support. Oh, so all of that happened, she just weeks. didn't die. However, to begin planning for the funeral before she had even died was Things almost comically legend. pessimistic, which would become even funny when Amy stated son. that the money was to fund Tammy's triple size extra large coffin. But Tammy being so big, if something does happen, her coffin is gonna cost them more because they have to triple the size of the coffin. Whilst mentioning <laughs> that Tammy was on a medical card, however, the amount of money it provided would not be enough. Is that a real thing? I, I mean, I guess it has to be, right? I'm guessing they would have to, like, supersize that. It would have to be, like, a custom order thing. Alright, hold on. Quick pivot. Moist Esports, Grand Finals, Moki, Hungry Box, Last Stock, Game 5. Come on, Moki, let's fucking go, baby. Oh! Clutch it out. Oh, wait, hold on, I just realized my shit's blocking half of it. Oh. Just in time! That was a good set. I got to watch the last couple ones up there. Oh, I hope he's not popping off over that. Uh, let's see if he's popping off over that. Uh, <laughs> don't say that's good. Shit, <laughs> I was hoping he'd have his whole ass hanging out, just going crazy. Go. <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah, baby. Crash with the 20. Thank you. That's that good shit. Bobby with the gift. Thank you. Dr. Ducks, I would have Mr. Mon, with the five goddamn thank you, boys. <sighs> that always oh, feels good to see the moist esports dubski. Uh. Congrats, Moki. I'll go in there and drop some gifties in just a minute. Fuck yeah. I have to cover the funeral. She is on a medical car. The medical cars will not cover all of the bills. So this GoFundMe account will be for Tammy's funeral. Is some senpai. She dies, so please. Please find it in your heart to donate. The GoFundMe itself, which would raise a total of $818. Wow, they, wait, this what? Fund they asked less for this super quadruple freight container coffin than they did for the MacBook. They had 10 k for a MacBook and 1500 for a super coffin. Yeah, we just watched Moki win. It was good to see. Coffins are expensive, man. That shit is a, like a crazy expense. Like the person may have died, but they also took their family down with them with how much they have to pay for the fucking coffins and the whole service. $818 read, This fund is for if anything was to happen to her, we'll go to her funeral. If she makes it through this, the money will stay there or go to her hospital bills that insurance won't pay. I won't ask, but I Who's don't know what eternal? else to do. Please, please help us, even if it's sense. Thank you and may God bless you. Now, if Amy had approached the situation from the angle of we're just doing this to cover the hospital bills and left it at that, there probably wouldn't have even True. been any backlash. However, since she had put so much weight on the possibility of death and people had donated assuming that she was going to die when she would return to the videos a few weeks later laughing joking <laughs> eating junk food as if nothing had ever happened obviously the audience Sounds about right. who had donated weren't all that happy judging from the 85 percent dislike ratio on the original there's a prime ysp video. in the gift it also didn't caps. help that in a different video amy would reiterate that the money wasn't going to be spent on anything besides the funeral we won't be spending it on anything but the funeral I just wanted to clarify that. Or I'm going to take it up to the funeral home where it can build interest. I probably will take it to the funeral home and let it build what? interest. So if something does happen... We All right. Someone more knowledgeable than me. Can you can you do that? You can just put money into a funeral home like a bank and it'll <laughs> gain interest? What? I'm investing in the funeral stock. So that's not a real thing. I can't believe it. You tell me I can't invest in funeral homes? Man, what is the world coming to? What what a fucking shame. We have that as a backup plan. So when it was confirmed that there was no funeral, a new question had been created. Where had the money gone? Amy would state that she had transferred the money to her mother to pay for Tammy's medical bills. The money that y'all donated for Tammy when she was in the hospital, I gave it to my mother who paid bills with Tammy's 
bills. Regardless if that's what she used the money for or not, that's what I did with it. I gave it to my mother, who paid bills. However, when mm -hmm. her audience would ask her to prove it, she'd state that it was her mother's responsibility to provide the receipts. My mom is trying to find the receipts, but if she can't find them, that's on mom, not me. Then in another video stating that the receipts had been thrown out completely. I know I've been wrong. I should not throw I'll check the it receipts out, away. But in Let's my head, I was thinking, boy. well, these receipts might come to bite me in the ass. You know, I wasn't thinking that. I'm a, it was a simple mistake. However, if the GoFundMe had been done online, then surely she was using internet banking. Why couldn't she provide a screenshot of the bank transfer to her mother? Medical bill receipts. Yeah, these two are like just actual pieces of shit. Away. It was suspicious that she was well. unable to provide any evidence for the money going towards the hospital stay, especially when her audience would notice that she also happened to buy a new laptop and a new camper right after the GoFundMe had <laughs> concluded. At a later date, Tammy would go on to state that Amy's GoFundMe made her angry as she felt as though she didn't need help. And when I found out Amy did the whole GoFundMe thing, believe me, I was mad. Because from one, I knew so I and two, I didn't want help. I, and not the person, want to ask for help. The most interesting part about the whole ordeal is that while That's most right, disgraced Kurt. YouTubers simply fade into obscurity That's as Prime the years by, the Slayton sisters have managed to remain relevant after rolling their public image into a TLC show titled 1000 Pound Sisters, on which Amy has since lost over 100 pounds, has gotten married, had a baby, and is looking healthy compared to her early days on YouTube. Wow. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Tammy, whose continual weight gain under the oh. much of the show's entertainment factor. The show just had its third season with well over 1 million viewers per episode. Wow. Whoa. I didn't expect that ending. Uh, that kind of caught me off guard. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, I don't feel as bad for them now after learning about them, like, killing dogs, basically. Neglecting them, putting them in hot cars. So it's hard to find sympathy for, uh, for where they're at right now. And the scamming, of course. But the, uh, the dog thing in particular made me very sad. Thanks to Prime Noble, the bit Samson. Elden Ring character. Yeah, she busted out that door like Godfrey the Grafted. Uh, that shit was, that came out of nowhere. Or Godric, not Godfrey. I got the names mixed up. 